What if you don't get a grant? Are you just sitting around twiddling your thumbs? Are you then seen as a net cost to the university and they just make you lecture? Yeah, uh, I yeah, th that's what it is. I I, uh, I I repeat, I'm not very familiar with the system, and that's not an accident. I have d intentionally distanced myself from any knowledge of the system, because it, it is a very unpleasant thing to be uh, to be uh, connected with. But yes, um, professors uh, can do full time teaching. Um, most of them don't want to. Uh, and that's uh, not because they don't like teaching, I, I think, in many cases, but because they have to teach to a regimented um, uh, curriculum and syllabus and uh, they can't exercise their creativity and and uh, re reveal to students why they are are passionate about the subject. And they have to get through a lot of it because the students are all competing with each other to get the exam results, which aren't, uh, which are a very inaccurate measure of how suitable they are for future research. I mean, it's it's not even intended for that. It's intended for displaying their qualifications, usually to do something else, which is by two orders of two orders of remove away from. Um, uh, suitability for research and then and then here in Britain I don't know what it's like in the US um, the professor has to apply for a grant to do research which is going to and, and some of that money goes to the university so he ha doesn't have to do as much teaching but the student or graduate student has to separately apply for a grant. The, the mere fact that the professor wants to include him on his research team is not enough to um, provide for subsistence for the student. And again, the university takes a cut, notionally because of desk space or lab space or whatever it is. So uh, I think this, this whole superstructure is contrary to uh, what is needed for fundamental research and actually for all the functions of a university, but particularly for fundamental research.